हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू क्लास एथ मैथ्स चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन सरफेस एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ बॉक्स इफ इट्स लेंथ ब्रेथ एंड हाइट आर ट्वेंटी टेन पॉइंट फाइव एंड एट सेंटीमीटर रिस्पेक्टिवली सो द फॉर्मूला दैट वी हैव टू यूज इज फर्स्ट वी विल राइट वॉट इज बीन गिवन सो लेंथ मीन्स एल is supposed to be 20 cm breadth means b is supposed to be 10.5 cm and height that is h is supposed to be 8 cm okay so the form, formula that we have to use is volume of the box is length into breadth into height so this is the easiest formula we have to simply multiply <coughs> multiply excuse me so length is 20 breadth is 10.5 h is 8 okay so multiply all these three the answer is going to be 1680 cubic centimeter okay now children you all have to remember one thing while finding the area we have to write square centimeter but while finding the volume you all have to write cubic centimeter okay so therefore volume of the box is 1680 cubic centimeter got it children it's very easy now the cuboid shaped soap bar has volume 50, 150 cc find its thickness if length is 10 cm and breadth is 5 cm so you will see same formula we have to use the only thing that we have to find is h that is height okay so first we will write whatever is been given so the volume of soap bar is 150 cc you all can write instead of cubic centimeter cc also now l is 10 b is 5 सेंटीमीटर ओके सो फॉर्मूला इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ द क्यूबॉइड शेप्ड सो इज लेंथ इंटू ब्रेथ इंटू हाइट ओके सो वॉल्यूम वी आर हैविंग दैट इज वन फिफ्टी सी सी एल इज टेन b is 5 h we have to find so let's take h to the left hand side and all the numbers to the right hand side so it is going to be 150 upon 10 into 5 now this is very easy children see the cutting is very easy h is equal to 3 cm so thickness of the bar is 3 cm got it now the third question is how many bricks of length 25 breadth 15 height 10 cm are required to build a wall of length 6 m height 2.5 m and breadth 5 0.5 m okay now first we will find for brick okay we will find the volume of the brick first where l is 25 b is 15 h is 10 cm okay now for the wall for the wall L one we will take which is six meters. Okay, so we have to convert this meter into centimeters, children, because everything is in centimeters. The brick is itself in centimeters. So we have to change six meters into centimeters. So it will be six hundred centimeters. So L one is going to be six hundred centimeters. Now H. is 2.5 so 
h1 sorry not h h1 is going to be again you have to multiply it with 100 so it is going to be 250 centimeter this is meter and centimeter okay the same thing for the breadth also we will do b1 which is supposed to be 0 0.5 meters okay so b1 is again we have to multiply it with 100 so that it will be 550 centimeters okay now both the units are same we can use the formula directly okay together we can use the formula so how are you going to use the formula number of bricks required to build the wall is equal to both the volumes we will use over here now okay so first will be volume of the wall upon volume of the brick got it children in this way we can find it and it will be very easy now volume of the wall that is l1 into b1 into h1 okay and volume of a brick l into b into h okay now let's substitute the value l1 was 600 b1 is 250 h1 is 50 l is 25 15 and 10 respectively okay now this is very easy to divide it children with the five table you all can reduce it i hope you will be able to reduce it the answer is going to come 2000 okay so therefore the number of bricks required to build the wall is 2000 bricks isn't it easy just you all have to convert the uh, meters into centimeters use both the formulas together that is volume of the wall and volume of the brick together so that you will be able to reduce it along with the numbers that have been given reduce it with a table of 5 you will get your answer that is 2000 okay let's solve the fourth question now for rain water harvesting a tank of length 10 meter breadth 6 meter and depth 3 meter is built what is the capacity of the tank how many liters of water can it hold okay so we have to find the volume let's write whatever has been given that is length of the tank l 10 meters breadth that is b 6 meters height which is supposed to be 3 meters okay so directly we will write the formula volume of the tank is equal to length into breadth into height okay so length is 10 breadth is 6 height is 3 when you multiply it children the answer is going to be 180 meter cube okay so in this way also you all can write cubic meter or meter cube also is right okay that is one meter cube is equal to thousand liters isn't it one meter cube cubic one meter cube is equal to thousand liters therefore volume of the tank this thing you all have to mark so that it will be visible to the teacher. 180 multiplied with 1000 liters. Okay. So this is going to change only zeros you all have to add. No need to do the multiplication separately children. Okay. So what is going to be the capacity you all have to write it in words. Capacity of the tank is 180 meter cube 
okay and volume of the tank is 1 lakh 80000 liters got it children it's very easy to solve if there is any confusion regarding any question please let me know in the comment section so that i will solve it for you all i can answer it uh, during the uh, live sessions or during the uh, video that i am going to post in the next video so see you in the next video take care bye